Since it was first unveiled in April 2022, Doll E2 has generated a lot of buzz because it appears to be the most sophisticated AI art creator to date. And while some individuals are justifiably concerned about the future of human creativity in the light of AI, several designers and artists have been learning ways to make the tool work for them. Doll E2 is a text-to-image AI art generator that is fully based on machine learning. It was developed by the artificial intelligence firm OpenAI and is a generative tool which means it can produce original artwork as well as modifications or variations of previously published material. It makes guesses based on the enormous database of 650 million images and caption possibilities that it has already been fed, even if it doesn't actually know what it's creating. The name itself is a combination of Dali as in Salvador and Wally -E from Pixar. Yeah, that Wally. -E. Dall E works based on word cues and the underlying technology creates art. On the surface, it appears to be very straightforward. Just type in a word and Dall E will produce the artwork. For example, you can type in football in space in an impressionist style, and Dall E will create an image. However, everyone who has used an AI art generator knows that the results can be a little, uh, odd. Especially if you just input the first text that comes to your mind. Fortunately, there is a useful Doll E2 prompt book that offers suggestions on how to word the prompts to attain the desired outcomes. The 82 slide prompt book discusses methods for getting Doll E2 to produce the results you want. It includes advice on basically everything regarding using the tool. It also discusses aesthetics and vibes, and suggested adjectives to use to get the mood or composition you're going for. It even gets more technical by including proximity, angles, lighting quality, and even lens type in the prompt when taking pictures. Even Dolly 2's developers, according to the handbook, don't fully know what the tool knows and doesn't know. Instead, users must figure out what the tool can accomplish and how to make it do what they want. One thing is for certain, when using Dolly, be descriptive as much as possible when requesting a photograph. For example, specify whether you want an up close or an angle, and keep in mind that an adjective without further meaning could be construed in a variety of ways, affecting both the general appearance of an image and even something as specific as the subject's clothing style. We know it's a lot, but the more you tinker with the tool using the Dali prompt book, the easier it gets in figuring things out. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and give us a like for more helpful videos like this.